Oh, honestly, this is really going to bring out the definition in your cheekbones. It's lovely. Uh, we're filming. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. All right. Hello, and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be explaining cell structure and function. You need to know the, the structure and function of animal, plant, yeast, and bacteria cells. Now, I'm just going to go through the uh, organelles contained in animal and plant cells. The first one that you need to know is the nucleus. Now, both animal and plant cells contain a nucleus. Now, the, fun the function of it is to control the activity of the cell and it contains the genetic information. In addition to that, both have a cell membrane. So the outer part of the cell is a cell membrane. The function of that is to control what goes in and out of the cell. They also both have cytoplasm, which is the fluid inside the cell. So cytoplasm is the fluid inside the cell, and that is where most chemical reactions take place. Now they also have mitochondria. Mito And these are these folded ones here. Now the function of mitochondria is that it's the site of aerobic respiration, which is a chemical reaction that provides energy. Now I'll come on to that in other videos later on, a bit more detail about that. And finally, both contain ribosomes. And ribosomes are these small dots here and here. And what they do is they produce proteins. They're the site of protein synthesis or protein production. Okay. So that is the features that are shared by both plant and animal cells. Plant cells have a couple of extra ones that animal cells don't. Firstly, they have chloroplasts, which are these green blobs. Now the function of chloroplasts is to absorb light energy for photosynthesis. The chloroplasts absorb that light energy and they also have vacuole. Vacuole is filled with cell sap, which can be a store of food, and it can also provide rigidity for the cell. And finally, they have a cell wall. Now, that cell wall is made from something called cellulose, and it provides structure and support for the plant cell. So those are the features of animal and plant cells. You also need to know about bacteria and yeast. Now these are a bit more simple. Now bacteria, instead of having a nucleus, just have DNA floating free within the cytoplasm. Okay. So they just have DNA floating free within the cytoplasm. They do not have a nucleus. That's the key point. They also have a cell membrane. And a cell wall, as do yeast cells. And yeast cells also have a nucleus. So these are the, fun the features and the functions of uh, the organelles contained in plant and animal cells and yeast and bacteria cells. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. Any questions, please leave them in the comments and follow me on Twitter at Rushliff Bio. Thank you very much.